Hello everyone, back to tuning into today's bird video. Go to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's bird video. Day 10 will take us to the 21st of March and we'll be able to set up beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. Maybe on around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And that gets us into the first half of April. I should get on that for you in a moment. Just say about the first the video says our 6 m UK weather forecast. And we've also uh, released the ECM WF Extended 30-day European Outlook. Check out those two bids if you'd like to do that. Like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. Thanks so much everyone for doing that. We need to put on around 20 to 25 subscribers to get ourselves to 19.6k. Uh, you could give us a sub then that would be absolutely awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, I was quite sore today, again, unfortunately, so that's the reason I'm off camera today. Right, let's start off with Strat, just to confirm that the uh, Strat Warm is ongoing, and Zona Winds continue to plummet. So, uh, this from weatherisscool.com, showing that uh, Zona Winds are in reverse, therefore, as we explained yesterday, 10 to 14 day, we are having a technical sudden stratospheric warming event over the North Pole at 10 HPA, 60 degrees north. And in the last 24 hours, we see the blue line here dropping further. So uh, we are extremely negative now with the uh, zone wind at 10 HPA. About as negative as we're going to get for this warming. And then we find uh, that the zone wind tries to rebound. Uh, with GFS ensembles there before dropping again in about a week or so's time. We might even go even more negative then. Have to wait and see. This latest temperature forecast uh, from the latest uh, GFS run. So the current warming is uh, starting to ease off now, but another warming will be gathering pace over Russia and pushing into the uh, North Pole again. You see the most vibrant red colours there moving out of Russia and into uh, the pole. The displacement and a split of the stratosphere polar vortex. You see the two loads of blue, one going to America, one through the North Atlantic into Western Europe. That's a split of the stratosphere polar vortex there in about a week's time. And as we roll on into the extended, well, the stratosphere polar vortex is pretty much done for. Has a go at coming back there, I guess, around the 24th of March. But basically, SPV is pretty much done uh, by the time we get into extended with the GFS. Of course, then we will be waiting to see what, if any, tropospheric response we get. And we're going to have much more about uh, the stratospheric warming event in, uh, I think it's episode 15 of Strat Watch. Right, that be the final Strat Watch of the current uh, season. And so uh, we'll be covering everything stratosphere related in uh, tomorrow's uh, Strat Watch. Right, let's move on to the latest wind map of NorthSchool.net. So the wind direction has now changed across the country. We're pulling in the wind from a cold north or northeasterly uh, direction. So temperatures continue to uh, be subdued and will be subdued for the remainder of the week. We'll gradually start lifting up probably at the weekend with those north northeast winds. Uh, so, central temperature is currently sitting at 8 degrees, 8.0, that's 2.4 degrees, 1 sixty one to 9 average for visual yesterday to the 10th. That will start coming down, I would have four over the next uh, few days. These were the best upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. I'm going to form up today, suggested location for this part of the video. So, uh, be on top of our below average air for the uh, next week at least. We're going to be in for about a week of colder and normal conditions. Uh, the second week, though, goes up. Uh, Less cold, not exactly mild, but goes back closer uh, to average. And we see uh, a clear divide for precipitation. So lots of dry weather to come for the next week as well, when it's quite cold. And then as the temperature lifts up, it turns a good deal more unsettled. Of course, that's steady rain, so therefore it's a little bit unreliable. But it is quite a clear signal that up to about the 19th of uh, March, 18th, 19th, we're going to have a lot of dry weather. And then beyond that, about the 19th in towards month's end, then we're looking quite a lot more unsettled. Temperature normally six to five days are coming out colder than average. So, uh, yes, it could be quite a cold um, five days to come, particularly through the UK and Ireland, but also into northern parts of France and also Norway as well. Six to ten day, a six to ten day temperature anomaly is still cold now, average, especially so for Ireland, England and Wales. 
10 to 14 day temperature anomaly stages a little bit of a recovery and uh, we go slightly above average well i would say near normal temperatures there in the 10 to 14 day time frame up to the 25th of march and precipitation wise for the next week the next seven days looking drier than normal in the 8 to 14 day time frame then we're closer to average the 10 to 16 day time frame is close to average as well right let's start getting the chart data then so this time on uk that you're a run it's looking a big guy on friday cold with winds in from the north and from the north east then into weekend high pressure slips down over country bring a lot of dry weather through the weekend before start to push back northwards again basically we're high and dry with the uh uk met through to the beginning of uh next week and after a cold start we should start seeing the temperature at least by day coming back up although nights could still be quite cold with frost under that area of high pressure Icon again brings the wind in from the northeast, and we will see high pressure slipping over the country through the weekend into uh, next week. Gradually, the really showing signs of breaking down there by next Tuesday, 18th of March, with a lower pressure beginning to move towards us from off the Atlantic. And then, of course, we've got the KMA still looking cold on Friday into weekend. High pressure over the country, cold nights, probably not too bad uh, by day, and that high pressure sticking around. Until around or just after a uh, day 10 when it starts to turn a little bit more unsettled there. But we're high and dry at least for next week with the KMA. GFS midnight run is all much of a much is with the cold northeast wind for Friday. Then high pressure slips over the country into the weekend, bringing a lot of dry weather by day, cold by night. Into next week we start to see high pressure slipping away towards east of Europe. Lower pressure begins to come up come up from the south from the southwest then we start to turn wet and windy as we head up towards day 10 and beyond that well we're looking unsettled cold snaps coming and going there with gfs uh, uh midnight run a little bit more unsettled from the third week into the final week of march GFS 6 z again with wind in from the north from the northeast on Friday, then high pressure dominating weather through weekend, cold nights, generally quite uh, mild bell would have thought by day. Into next week, low pressure lower pressure starts heading in from off the Atlantic, turning things uh, wetter, windier and milder through the second half of next week. Uh, and then after that, well, low pressure keeps on coming, actually. So more in sets with GFS 6 uh, as we get to the 27th of March there. If you're enjoying the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks so much everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content, live streams, etc, etc, etc. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weather well, get them to subscribe too. And we thank so much everyone for doing that. GM, again, we're winged in from the north and northeast on Friday. Looking quite cold then into the weekend. Cold by night. Not too bad by day under the high pressure. Until next week, gradually turning more unsettled, especially for the north and south. Uh, the south is a little bit drier there. The north does look quite unsettled uh, up to about day 10. With the ECM um, rounding it all off, winds again from a cold north northeasterly direction from uh, Friday and Saturday. And then over the weekend into next week, high pressures over the country, bringing a lot of dry weather, chilly by night. Probably not too bad in the March sunshine by day. Through to the middle of next week, winds shift around to the south. So becoming a lot milder with the ECM through the middle part of next week. Actually, potentially quite warm. The air is originating from the Mediterranean with that. So <laughs> you would have thought temperatures really lift up. A little bit more unsettled in the northwest, but a lot of dry weather up to day 10. Really are high and dry here for the next 10 days, to be honest, except for, you know, showery bursts occasionally. And then, more, and then even more extended, turns more unsettled with low pressure, bringing wet and windy weather in from off the Atlantic. That's a long way off, though. This is a precipitation forecast based on the HM run from Tometra.com. So it shall be coming a little bit more widespread tomorrow. It could be of a wintry flavour as well. Should amount to too much, but here and there, there will be some flakes of snow around tomorrow. Um, Milton Dryer, though, into the uh, weekend, of course, under that area of high pressure. 
before eventually it starts to a bit more and settles out to the northwest by day 10. But even then, uh, lots of dry and warmer weather. These are the October tables in the East um, Ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 21st March. 19 members of the ECM on of high pressure to the north and to the northeast, low pressure south, and winds are coming up from a southeasterly or southerly direction. Should be a lot of dry weather uh, with that, but could be a bit more unsettled down in the far south. We've got 12 with high pressure right over top of the country. We've got another 12 with low pressure though coming in from off the Atlantic, and we've got 8 with a ridge from the west over into the Most of the options are high pressure dominated there at day 10, just this minority option looking unsettled. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we got. It'll get us to the 26th of March. 12 members of the ECM Ensemble High Pressure of Scandinavia. Lower pressure is out in the Atlantic. Should be mostly dry and uh, quite warm with that, quite mild. I would have thought winds are coming in from like a southerly south BC direction. We've got 12 with low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south. That can be more unsettled for the north, should be mostly dry down the south. Another 12 with low pressure again to the south, high pressure is to the north. That could be a bit more unsettled, especially so the more southern regions. We've got 8 with high pressure around Iceland. That could be pulling in chilly north easy wind. And then finally we've got 7 with low pressure around Scandinavia, high pressure around Greenland. And that could bring the wind in from the northwest. So, uh, lots of options at uh, day 14. Day 10, it looks like high pressure will be dominant. But where we are by day 14, 26th of March, current towards month's end, remains to be seen. And remember, CFSB2 finally beats a 500 millibar high tides break down into week periods. The first week period takes us from 11th, 17th of March. Next week sees high pressure blocking around Iceland, low pressure down across France, Spain, Portugal. Winds are coming in from a cold northeasterly direction. Week 2. It's going to be the uh, 18th to 24th of March. Low pressure then to the west. High pressure to the east. That shifts the wind around to more of a southerly southeast. It could be more unsettled and is milder. Week 3 will be the 25th of March the 31st. High pressure is uh, to our north and east. Lower pressure is out to the west. And winds are coming in a little bit like that. And then finally week 4. It's quite interesting. This when we might get a tropospheric, tropospheric response to the SSW. It's the 1st of the 7th of April, and it shows a mid-Atlantic ridge going up towards Greenland, chuffing over Scandinavia, and that will bring the wind in from a cold north or northeasterly direction. So that could be a cold and, uh, well, maybe slightly wintry start. Uh, to April there, if that comes off. Because it's four weeks away. It's a long way out. Um, but it's around the time frame we're expecting to see some sort of uh, tropospheric, tropospheric response to the current uh, stratospheric um, uh, scenario and, and development. So we should wait and see. We'll monitor and we'll keep you posted. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please can you like, share and subscribe. Thanks for everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weather Viz and get them to subscribe to Treasure Everyone for doing that. Around 20 to 25 subscribers gets us to um, 19.6k. So if you could give us a sub, that'd be awesome. Thanks so much, everyone. Tomorrow, we're going to have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We're going to have the final episode of uh, Strat Watch. Um, I have got to try and squeeze in the evaluation for the winter forecast. I might push that to Thursday, as we've got uh, the last episode of Strat Watch to do tomorrow. That will be coming this week, hopefully. Uh, and of course, there'll be a 10 to 14 day video, not live stream, um, tomorrow as well. You yeah, enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. And for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.